Okay, so what we're working on in this section is geometric sequences. You've done arithmetic sequences, and that's when you would add the same number over and over again, or subtract the same number. And remember, with arithmetic sequences, it turned into lines. What we have now is geometric, and for geometric, we're not going to be adding. You're actually either going to be multiplying or dividing. And so when you have a geometric, you have a ratio that is, oops, not ratio, ratio that's the same. So like you're going to times by two, times by two, times by two, divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. The ratio has a specific name and it's called the common ratio. So when I look at this example, Go from two to three to get, or from two to six to get from two to six, I would multiply by three. To get from six to 18, I would multiply by three. And then I have to continue that pattern. So if I multiply by three again, I get 54. And if I multiply by three again, then I get 162. And so for this one, the common ratio is three. If you have a problem, let's say I I'm getting smaller. Right here, you're, you would divide by 2. Dividing by 2 is putting on the bottom. So the common ratio for this one would be 1 half. So if you multiply, the, it's, the bit, it's just what you multiply by. If you're dividing, you have to think about how would you write that dividing as a fraction. Okay, so there are going to be some problems that you're going to have to graph. And so let's go ahead and graph this one. So this is my first term. So this is going to be 1, 2. Here's my second term. So it's 2 and I get a 6. My third term, I get an 18. My fourth term, I get a 54. And my fifth term, I get 162. There's no way I can graph these last two, but I can graph these three up here. So 1, 2 is right here. 2, 6. 3, 18, right there. And so what happens is it curves up, and it's kind of an exponential curve, and it just goes faster. Okay, so the equation that we're going to use to find this... Um, so the equation we're going to use is a sub n, that's the number you're going to want, is a sub 1, so the first term, times r, which is your common ratio, to the n minus 1. So for this problem that we had, we started with 2, so it's 2. We multiplied by 3 each time, so 3 goes in here, and then it's n to the negative 1. If I wanted to find this one over here, I started with 12, so it's 12. My ratio, my common ratio was 1 half, and then n minus 1. Okay, so a1 is the first term. r is the common ratio. Okay? All right, so let's use that information to try and answer the questions below. So the first part it's asking is determine if it's arithmetic or geometric. Remember, arithmetic, you add or subtract. For geometric, you multiply or divide. And then if it's geometric, we're going to write equation and find the next three terms. Okay, so if I look here, I'm going to make this bigger. This is small. I made it a little bigger so we could see. Okay, so to get from 2 to 10, I multiply by 5. From 10 to 50, I multiply by 5. So this is geometric, okay? Geometric. And we're going to write our equation. So a sub n is equal. I started with 2. I multiplied by 5, and I have n to the negative n minus 1. And now my next, ooh, oh, sorry. Let's see. My next three terms. So I'm going to multiply by 5 again, and I'm going to get 250. And then I'm going to multiply by 5 again, 
and I get 1,250. And then I multiply by 5 one more time, and I get 6,250. Okay, when we look at the next one, there's nothing I can multiply to get from 5 to 7, but I can add 2, and I can add 2 here. So since this is adding, this is arithmetic, and so we stop. I'm not going to write the equation. We're not going to find the other terms. I'll write this one. To get from 36 to 12, I divide by 3. To get from 12 to 4, I divide by 3. So that pattern goes twice. So it is geometric. And remember, we're going to start with our first term, which is 36. And then now the common ratio. Remember, for common ratio, I said when you're dividing, you kind of think about it as a fraction. And dividing by 3 is putting a 3 on the bottom. And so it's 1 third is the common ratio, 10 minus 1. And now if I continue this pattern, let me change colors. If I continue this pattern and I divide 4 by 3, I get 4 over 3. Now this gets a little confusing because I already have 4 over 3, but I'm dividing by 3 again. Well, remember when you divide by things, they go on the bottom of the fraction, so that 3 is actually going to go here. So I'm going to get 4 over 9. And so now I have 4 over 9, and I'm going to put another 3 down here. And so that's 4 over 27. Okay? So when you're dividing, you're just kind of putting them on the bottom of the fraction because that's where dividing goes. Okay, what I'd like you to do is I would like to see if you could figure out your equations here first. And once you have your equations, um, you can press play, and then we'll see what we do next. Okay, so you should have noticed to get from 2 to 4, I multiply by 2 and multiply by 2. But if you notice here, the signs change. We haven't done one of those yet. The only way you could have your signs change from negative to positive, positive to negative, is you're multiplying by a negative number. Okay, so I start at negative 2, I multiply by negative 2, and it's raised to the n minus 1. Now if I want to find the eighth term, I'm going to plug in an 8 right here. So now you're going to take your calculator, and it's going to be negative 2, times uh, parentheses negative 2 to the power of 8 minus 1, and 8 minus 1 is 7. And so this is actually 256. Okay, let's try the equation for this one. To get from 100 to 20, you divide by 5. To get from 20 to 4, you divide by 5. So my equation is I start at 100, and I divide by 5, so it's 1 fifth raised to the n minus 1. Now what we need to do is we need to find out what it is when n is 8. So it's going to be 100, 1 divided by 5 to the 8 minus 1. So now I take my calculator and I do 100, parentheses 1 divided by 5, to the power of 7, because 8 minus 1 is 7 and I get 0 .00128. And if I wanted to write it as a fraction, you would have gotten 4 over 3,125. Both of those answers are acceptable. Most likely you'll do the decimal one because that's the easier one to find with the calculator. Okay, so geometric is when you multiply. Remember this formula here. Let's highlight this formula. This is the important formula we need. That's how you're going to write equations. And remember, A1 is where you start. R is your common ratio. And then it's always to the power of N minus 1. 